Vahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. So today I was asked a question by my dear sister, Christina Gaur in Canada. And I wanted to record the answer to this question because a lot of Sikh youth have asked me this. And I thought, Guru Mer Nal, maybe this can help people, other people understand this question. So before I go on, I want to apologize. I have a really bad cold and my throat is like horrible today. So sorry if the sound comes out a little wrong. You know, I'm nasally. It's that type of time of year again, allergy season. So um, everyone's sick these days. But um, back to the question. Basically, the question was, in Sikhism, do we believe in predestination or do we believe in free will? And this is a very interesting question because in Sikhi, it's not a contradiction, but we actually believe in both. If we go on what Gurbani says, we believe in both predestination and free will. But when we say predestination, the Christians and the Abrahamic faiths have a different version of it and Sikhism has a different version. If you look at the Puritans, their idea of predestination is everyone comes unto the earth and their destiny is already determined whether they spend eternity in heaven and eternity in hell. But in Sikhism we don't believe in an eternal heaven or hell. There are many heavens and hells in Sikhism and heaven and hell are just states of mind in this world as well. So then, what is predestination in Sikhism? Predestiny, your destiny is determined. Now we have the word Lekha in Sikhism, which means your destiny, what's written in your destiny. But if we go to Gurbani, and we read it deeply, we realize that there is predestination in Sikhism. All of our destinies are determined. But the interesting thing is, our destinies are determined, but we all have the same destiny. We all have the same destiny, every human being, whether they are a sinner or a saint, whether they do good deeds or bad deeds, whether they're the greatest or the worst behaved people. No matter what they do, no matter who we are, we all have the same destiny. And that destiny is jiste upja nanika soi fer hoa that which we came from that lord which we came from o oh nanik we will once merge again into that lord our destiny is to merge into god our destiny is for our soul to feel the greatest bliss and to merge into the one creator lord Panj tat ko tan rachyo jano chatar sujaan jete upjyo nanika lean tahi mehman O clever human being, your body was made from the five elements. Know this well, O nanik, believe this. You shall one day merge into the one from where you originated. So in this sense, we do have predestination because Sikhism says that the soul was made to merge into God. God made the soul and the soul is a piece of God. The soul is divine. God made the soul and all of our lifetimes, our whole soul's journey, all the pain and pleasure, all of the pain, pleasure, sin and virtue, all of our good deeds and bad deeds, all of our wandering in heavens and hells, all of our wandering in pain, and all of our pleasure, all these lead to the one beautiful climax when the soul, through love, emerges in the beloved God. Gurbani tells us this whole world is God's play of love. Pyare har bin prem na khelsa O oh, beloved, without God, there is no play of love. This whole world is God's love. Jatar titar disa visa hoi falio an rag. Jatar tatar, wherever we look, disa visa, in all the directions, hoi falio an rag. Everywhere, God's love is blossoming and blooming, and everything is filled with God's love. So, why are people wandering in pain? That's palekha. 
that's param that's ego that's duja god put that in the world too because all the pain and pleasures make that one moment when the soul merges into god beautiful so in that way we are predestined guruji tells us that this world is like this baji kar dank bajai sab khalak tamashe aaye baji kal swang sakela apne rang rave akela baji kar what's a baji kar like a circus person a magician god is the magician he beats his tambourine everyone comes to see the show and then god winds up the universe again and we're all going to merge into god so yes we are predestined but our ego doesn't let us know it so we are definitely predestined be shak but then we have another way of looking at it as well every single person in this universe has something which binds them they are a prisoner to something let's put it this way think of every action you did today no one does an action without a stimulus and every single stimulus has an action and every action has a has a opposite and equal reaction every single action has a reaction and so when we look at this if we are all bound what binds us think of our actions some of us are prisoners to calm to lust some of us are prisoners to anger some of us are prisoners to ego but all of us are prisoners some of us are prisoners to our mind why did i eat today because i was hungry i was bound to eat why did i drink i felt thirsty i had a desire in me have you ever felt like you said something you didn't want to say cuz you were angry you didn't want to say it but your anger made you say it you were a prisoner to your anger to your mind so we like to think we're free our ego tells us we can do what we want but every single action of ours has a desire behind it every action and every single thought or stimulus will usually it'll either gather up and make us angry or it'll become an action so when we look at this when people in other faiths talk about free will sometimes they talk about the body the body is the prisoner of the mind how can the body has a free will our body is the car our mind is the driver that's why you see a lot of yogis they say we'll fast we'll cause our bodies pain and we'll meet god in this way we'll sit in a trance we'll sit in a trance and meditate on nothingness but no friends why hurt your body your body's the car the mind is what you got to reform not the body so here guruji tells us the mind is what we have to reform so what is this mind now we see how we are we see how we are predestined but how are we free willed well when we talk about the mind e man shakti e man shio e man panj tat ko jio e man la jo un man rahe ta tin lok ki baate keh hai this mind is maya this mind is the material world when this mind merges with dirt it becomes dirt and this mind is god if the mind merges with god it becomes god e man panj tat ko jio and this mind is part of the five elements our body the five elements meaning air earth earth air air meaning gas earth air water fire and ether those five elements that everything is made of the mind merges with them it becomes like them e man panj tat ko jio so this mind is god this mind is made of the five elements e man la jo un man rahe one state is in man and one state is un man we want to be un man attached to god e man la jo un man rahe ta tin lok ki baate keh hai if this mind becomes un man then it can understand all of creation the past
past, present, future, the different worlds and realms. realms. So, in this sense, our mind is the image of God as well. Mantu Jod Sarup hai apna mool pachan. So when we get to that level, then nothing can bind us. We're free because God is free. God doesn't have any bandhan. God doesn't have any chains binding him. God is completely free. So it depends on our state of mind, whether or not we are bound by anything. But the predestined way, in that way we are predestined because we have the destiny to become God. But we are also we are also destined by our karmas because every single action we do will have a reaction. All our karma will lead us places in this world and the next. Bad karma gives us pain. Good karma gives us pleasure. But the best karma is when we merge with God. That gives us freedom. That gives us freedom from going around in circles. Think about this. Every single thing wandering around, not just humans, every soul on the universe is dancing because of their karma. Kabhu jira ra ub chalat hai, kabhu jaye pyaale, lo bhi jira thir na rehte. Chare kunda paale. Sometimes our mind is in the skies, other times in the others. But we're all dancing. All of us dance in this earth, this game of life, and it's beautiful. We're dancing because of our karma. We're dancing towards our destiny. Everything takes us to our destiny. We're all going to reach there one day. Sometimes we dance forward. Sometimes we dance backwards. But we're all dancing. Karmi apo apani ke nere ke dur. It is by our actions that we go further away or closer. So yes, our actions do determine our destiny. So in that way, we are predestined. We're prisoners of our actions. But we have the capability to be free. And a person can become free-willed once they realize their divinity and they merge into God's will. So in that sense, we are very free when the soul lights up and realizes its origin. In that way, it has total freedom. But until then, sometimes we're bound by anger. Sometimes we're bound by greed. Sometimes we're bound by our weaknesses. Sometimes we're bound by our emotional attachment. But we are all bound. They alone are free who are bound in the love of God. Jo hum bande mol fas, hum prem bandan tum bande. So, um, dear Christina sis, I hope this answers the question. And um, Vaiguru Rake and anyone else listening, I'm probably going to end up putting this on YouTube because I think, you know, a lot of people have this question. So, anyone else listening, I hope Vaiguru ne saddi seva lei and I hope that your questions were answered and anything that needs to be explained, please do ask. I hope I was able to... Um, be comprehensible, you know, because of my bad throat. Vai Guruji ka khalsa, Vai Guruji ki fateh.